Good morning, family, Takumanyu Life Church, or good afternoon, or good evening, whenever it is. As you know, God is so good all the time. Amen. We continue to study the proverb of the Bible. It is a 30-day challenge, a walk through proverbs from the Bible reading plan. It is day 13. Absolutely, uh, we're going to study the chapter 13 of the proverb. Um, this chapter is also giving to us many lessons like other uh, chapters of the proverbs. It, is, it explains about the characteristics of the, uh, right, of the right and the wicked and also it compares between wisdom and uh, foolishness. Absolutely, there are lessons and rebukes the lessons of the lessons for diligence and laziness and the lessons about uh, wealth too. Uh, there are so many things. So we have to hear uh, these lessons, this message from the Bible. Like verse 1 says, A wise son hears his father's instruction. Yes, we have to be wise children of God. Therefore, we have to listen to God's words and His instruction. Um, there are so many lessons, but I'd like to focus on just two things. The mouth, about a mouth, and choice. I'd like to focus on a mouth and choice in this chapter. What is the wisdom for talking and choice? Uh, first of all, I'd like to read verse 2 to the scripture. Uh, first, uh, verse 2. From the fruit, of the fruit of his mouth, a man is what is good. Let me read again. From the fruit of his mouth, a man is what is good. But the desire of the treacherous is for violence. Yes, right. You know, people can eat goodness. His blessing. What is good is blessing his goodness we can have blessing and goodness from the fruit of our mouth a person will be rewarded for what he says or what she says as you remember the jesus said like that matthew 12 verse 36 just said but I tell you that every careless word that people speak, they shall give an account for it in the day of judgment. Therefore, uh, because you and I are children of God, we should be careful what I am talking. Um, nowadays, my wife tries to change her speaking habit. That's good. You know, she would tell herself, oh my, oh, Miran, you're so stupid, you are full. When she made a mistake or when she forgot something to do. But nowadays she uh, speaks to herself like this and then, you know, nowadays she speaks, oh, you stupid, you, you, you fool. And then, and then right after, uh, she speaks to herself, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no, 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 you are not stupid, you are not fool, you are good, you are a child of God, you are smart, like that. Make sense? Uh, it is so funny when I see her, but you know what, it is very good. It is very good. Because a man shall eat good by the fruit of his or her mouth. So try to do that. Yes, people, you and I could make, can make um, many mistakes and uh, forget something at the time. Don't talk like, we, we may talk like that. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm old. I'm, I'm, I'm bad. But you know what? The truth is you and I are children of God. So that's why we can be a smart and we can be smart and we can be good people in the name of Jesus Christ. So that after saying, uh, like that, and then you have to apologize to yourself. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, young he. 
No, 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 no. You are not stupid. You are not fool. You are a child of God. You are good. You are smart. Ah, you will be better. Mm -hmm. Yes, at the time we can eat His blessing, we can get God's blessing, His goodness from the mouth of our mouth, right? Fruit, fruit of the mouth. So that, my brothers and sisters, we should watch our mouth. We should watch what I am talking. Uh, look at the verse 3. The Bible says like that, Whoever guards his mouth, preserves his life. He who opens, opens wide his lips comes to ruin. Mm -hmm. A person who keeps his and her mouth keeps his or her life. We have to keep our mouth. We have to keep our mouth. Too much talks ruins your life. So, message says like this, the message translates this verse like this, Careful words make for a careful life. Careless talk may ruin everything. So, we should make careful words for our life, and also we should be careful when you talk about someone else. We have to that. Uh, so, if I give you some wisdom to um, follow these this lessons, uh, don't talk too much. Don't talk too much. Or it is very easy for us to be careless when we talk, when, I'm talk, when we are talking. So, uh, don't talk too much. And then when you talk, talk good words, speak cheerful words and speak comforting words to people and speak the truth of Jesus Christ. At the time, you can get His blessing, His goodness from the fruit of your mouth. And then I'd like to share about choice. What should we choose in our life journey for our soul? Good choice is a very essential and important thing for your soul and our soul. So that uh, today's chapter tells us good, uh, tells us good advice uh, for choosing. First of all, choose the soul of the diligent. Verse 4 says like that, The soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing, while the soul of the diligent is ritually supplied. Mm, yeah, be lazy, be lazy when you talk, but be diligent to consider for goodness. Be lazy to talk and be diligent to consider goodness. Uh, when you see the lazy people, uh, you know what? They have a lazy thought first before doing lazy life. Uh, so that you have to remember, we have to get Diligent mind, diligent thought. In your brain, you are lazy. Yes, you make a lazy life and your life is lazy. Your life will be lazy. But first of all, to make, uh, to make a diligent life and, uh, um, and, and, and you want to have richer supplied, supplies, you want to be uh, richly, you want to get uh, richly supplies. Yes, first of all, Get a diligent thought and mind, and then do it. Do it. Don't be lazy in your thought, first of all. And number two, choose the simple life. Choose the simple life. That is the wisdom for our soul. Look at the verse 7. One pretends to be rich, yet has nothing. Another pretends to be poor, yet has great wealth. Someone pretends to be rich but has nothing, but some who are rich pretends they are poor. Someone who are rich pretend they are poor. Um, it doesn't mean the rich people lie to people, but actually they have a simple life. People pretend to be rich to people, to other people. Why? Because um, 
they want to get some um, compliment from people. Wow, look at him. He's very rich. So that they try to, they pretend to be rich, but they had not, they had, they have nothing. But two rich people always try to have a simple life. Why? Simple life is actually um, full life. The message translates this verse like this. A, a pretentious, showy life is an empty life. A plain and simple life is a full life. Amen. I agree. Showy life, show life is an empty life. There is nothing. But plain and simple life is a full life. It doesn't matter how much, uh, how much wealth you have. If you try to make the simple life, plain and simple life in Jesus Christ, you know that is a full life. Your life is fullness. <clears throat> and number three, the wisdom is to choose the attitude respecting the word of God. Of course, look at the verse 13. It is contemporary English version. If you reject God's teaching, you will pay the price. Absolutely. If you reject God's teaching and His guidance, you will pay the price for yourself. Nobody can pay for that. But if you obey His commands, His words, you will be rewarded from God. Amen. I don't think we need more talking about this. Yes, we understand that. When you reject God's teaching, yes, we have to pay the price uh, price for ourselves, but if we obey God's commands, His direction, God guarantees us. God has responsibilities for our life because we follow His command. So we will be rewarded. And finally, choose to be with the wise, to walk with, walk your life with the wise people. Look at the verse 20. Whoever walks with the wise become wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. Uh, the Bible reading plan emphasizes this verse. I like that. I like that. And, and, and um, that tells us, uh, the Bible reading plan teaches us, uh, look at, teaches us this verse, uh, look at this verse carefully. Whoever walks with the wise become wise, but the companion of fools not become full will suffer, but will suffer harm. You know what I'm saying? That's a great uh, insight. That's a good insight. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, spend your time with wise people who respect God, follow His directions, and you will be wise also. Don't make friends with fools, please, or your life will be suffered because of your choice. So choose to be the wise who respect God and follow Jesus' way. That is great wisdom. Okay, let's be careful what we're talking about today. Let's talk goodness for ourselves and for other people. And let's choose good things. Let's choose good things for our soul. At the time, you will, we will get His blessing, His goodness, and His directions and protections. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for giving us a message from uh, Proverbs chapter 13. Yes, Father, we want to talk good things. We want to get good things from the fruit of our mouth. Therefore, Father God, please keep our mouth when we try to keep our mouth, when we try to be careful, uh, careful while we're talking about what we're talking about, talking. So that, Father God, please help us. And also, we're going to choose good things for our soul. Yes, Father, please help us. Help us. Uh, to choose 
what you are pleased. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.